What is up everybody, this is Chris Durham, and I'm back with another video. And so today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play PS1 games on your Android device. Now this does take some time, so bear with me. I am sorry if this will get a little boring, but at the end of the video, I will play a game just to show you how it is. So the first thing you gotta do is download a few apps. So what you gotta download is every BIOS, it is free. E, PSX, E, which is, um... About maybe a dollar a dollar ninety nine on the Play Store, but you can get it for free on Fortune. I don't know if it's legal or not. I don't know. But and the final thing you'll need is Seven Zipper. It unzips the file and uncompresses it. I think. So the first thing you gotta do is go into every BIOS and it'll do this little, like intro thing. I so yeah. So, the first thing you gotta do is scroll down until you see psx.zip, download that, I've already done that, and go to unzipped. Next, you just scroll down on the left and go to psx, it'll take you to the whole entire thing, so click on the, no, click on scph1001, 1001, okay? So... <laughs> So go to the web, you'll click on the web and it'll automatically start downloading. So then you're done. So now what you gotta do is go into EPSXE, nope, I said no. <laughs> so click preferences, and click BIOS file, and it will take you into here. So what you gotta do is go into download, and then click on this, and then it'll select that BIO. So now what you gotta do is go back, and now it's saved. So all you gotta do basically is find your game. So, I suggest going onto the internet, and looking up, um, emu, wait, whoops, emuparadise.com, there it is. Um, but, I'll show you, just, so go onto your Google, and go into, um, emmyparadise.com, and then, what, <laughs> whoopsie, so click on that, I suggest not putting .com, because it'll take you to a totally different website, so I suggest you clicking on the link, Right here. It'll take you to emmyparadise.me. Okay. So, then it will put up this page. It will put this page up. So, let's say I want to play Resident Evil 1 on the PS1. So, you would type in Resident. Sorry if it's a little slow. So, you would type in this. Resident Evil PSX. So, we'll search that up. My internet's a little slow if you look up here. Oh, whoops. So, search Resident Evil PSX, and then you'll find it. And this is for the people who want to play this. So, the first thing you gotta do is find it, and there will be like a whole bunch. I chose, yeah, you have to do the Sony PlayStation, right here, Sony PlayStation, okay, so I suggest that you do not, you, all you have to do is find E-I-S-O, I suggest doing that because sometimes games will come with like tracks and stuff and I'm like, what? Like, I tried to play Grand Theft Auto 1, and I played it, and it, like, had a whole bunch of tracks, and it froze a whole bunch of times, because it had a bunch of crap that went onto my device. And I also downloaded a Tomb Raider, the first Tomb Raider ever, and it froze too, because it had a whole bunch of tracks. So I suggest that you do not download any games unless it has ISO at the end, or E, which stands for, um, uh, Europe. So anyways... Click on that. So you scroll down, and uh, and you'll go all the way down. It'll show a few like um, uh, screen uh, screen things. Scroll down until you see direct download links. 
So click on that. And then what you'll want to do is click on that, this right here, and then it'll start your download. So now all you got to do is just go out once you're done. And that download will take a while. But as you can see here, I already have it right here. Um, but it's not an app. It's actually a shortcut that I put on. Um, so now once the download is done, which it'll take like probably like 30 minutes. It's like super long. So click on 7-Zipper. Click on SD card. And go all the way down to where you see download. And then scroll until you find... Um, let's see here, Resident Evil 7Z, right there, it has to have 7Z at the end in order to work, so click on that, and press OK, just press OK, and then it'll take a while, um, you can do this in background by clicking home, and it'll do it while you're, like, playing another game or whatever, but once it's done, you go into EPSXE Run Game, and... Play. <laughs> so, here we go. Play. Okay. As, as you can see, it'll start up. Now, and I might do a playthrough of this. There it is. <laughs> Let's get that. <clears throat> and all you Resident Evil fans who played the first game have to know this little intro. <laughs> oh my god. Here it is. The original Resident Evil Director's Cut. Which has everything in it. Nothing cut at all. So, press any button. And you can load the game and stuff. So, yeah! That is how you play PS1 games on your tablet without using a PC or having root at all. All. So, oh my gosh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, or more gaming videos. So I will see you guys later. Peace!